It's the final night in Yorkshire, and today we're in Doncaster, where Tish, the world's oldest goldfish, died peacefully in his bowl. <laughs> he was only 44! <laughs> Off he plops, gone to that big goldfish bowl in the sky. And hoping to be flushed with success tonight is this week's final host, business development manager Tony. I'm the full package. I've got the looks, I've got the, the great charm, I've got enthusiasm. What more do they need? A half-decent dinner? Polly Calar. Very good. Cos that's what drinks promoter Dan served up when he kicked off the week with his Greek grub. It smells absolutely <laughs> delicious. The vibe was right. Everybody seemed to enjoy himself. Good energy from everybody, so, like, it was enjoyed by all. I want a nice, clean fight. There were plenty of fun and frolics on offer on Tuesday from computer <laughs> fanatic Matt, but when it came to the food... Yeah, it's spicy. <laughs> you OK, Tony? <coughs> it was no laughing matter. <laughs> <laughs> on my night, there was a lot of laughter around the table. Maybe for the wrong reasons at times, but ultimately, I guess that means people had a good time. Tequila! Mexico was the destination for dog walker Jordana's junket, and it was all going very well. I am very impressed yeah. that yeah, you've made your own tortillas. Yeah, I am. Until... Oh, sorry. Oh, I've got dog hair. Oh, I'm so <laughs> sorry. I think my night went well overall. A few blips, but actually, looking back at it, it was actually really good. <laughs> Last night, Florist Jane went all continental when she hosted a Spanish slap-up. Everyone absolutely loved it. It was like being in Spain itself, in Hull. And when it came to the food, the compliments were flowing. You've done well, Jane. Sorry, what did you say? Despite Tony's best efforts to trip her up... Did you make this bread? Sorry, does anyone want a drink? <laughs> <laughs> I honestly believe that I'm the one to be... I think I'm in the lead to file. You are, but you're sharing that honour with Dan and Jordana on 28, with Matt at the bottom of the pile on 24. <laughs> but tonight, Tony could change all that with his countryside cuisine, and there's one guest he's desperate to impress. There's a bit of competition between me and Jane, I think, so, but, you know, let's, let's have a great time tonight and let's, let's, let's see her face when I win. If Tony slips up, I'm going to be right behind him, watching him and laughing. Goat's cheese salad. I personally wouldn't choose this start in a restaurant, um, so I am a bit disappointed. When it comes to be true, I can definitely think of other things that can beat it. <laughs> <laughs> now, you can't make a beetroot salad without beetroot, so it's off to the farm. Too big. Too squidgy. I can't decide. You might be here a while. Nah, not that one. Got it. A beautiful piece of beetroot. Oh, yes. Thank the Lord. Back home, Tony's perfect beets are boiled and chopped. Jane, this beetroot is fantastic. I'm coming to get you. Be worried. Be very, very worried. <laughs> she doesn't look that worried to me. <laughs> Onions, balsamic vinegar and honey join the beets and it's into roast. Now for the goat's cheese. <laughs> You're right, Tony. I think I'm a goat. How long have you felt like that? Since I was a kid. Oh, I must say, that's wonderful. This is such an easy starter. There's no cooking involved apart from boiling the lentils. To be fair, he is zhuzhing them up with a good dollop of shop-bought peri-peri sauce. How's that? Yum. Mm, yum. Yeah. Yum. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A tad too much spice, maybe? Yes. It's the last night of the competition in Yorkshire. Cheers. Yay! Yay! Where business development manager Tony is hoping countryside cuisine and his effervescent personality will bag him the grand. Just excuse me a moment while I just go over to my hostess trolley. Be my guest. Smooth action. Meanwhile, back in the man cave, Tony's diners are having a fertile. Some crisps in the bar. <laughs> Nice salt vinegar. What's that? What is it? Certificate of Appreciation, Excellence in Humour and Entertainment. Oh, oh. that's so nice. I bet he bought it. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's definitely made that himself. Back with Tony, who's dishing up. This tastes better than it looks. Let's hope. It looks dreadful, but believe me, it is so tasty. Oh, I seem to have a dirty fork. 
How unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> She's started early. Finishing touch is applied. The starter's ready to serve. They're going to love this. Do you reckon? Don't know. It's a tough crowd out there. Roasted beetroot with a lentil and goat's cheese salad. Yum. Yeah. I'm so sorry, Tony, but I've got a dirty fork. You've got a what? A dirty fork. You can't have. I have. Have you? I'll kill Stefan. <laughs> <laughs> Of all the people to find a dirty fork, it had to be Jane. I just thought, oh, no. And you know me, I don't like to bring attention to things like that. But I just had to. Do you know, it's rude not to, isn't it? So I just had to let him know about that one. So selfless. Yo, that is hot. Just like me, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I really like beetroot and it tastes really nice and fresh. Like, you can tell it's local. If I'm being brutally honest, yeah. I feel like it's a lot simpler than what I thought you would produce. All right. This compared to my starter, man, had so many different exciting things happening. Yeah. Bit overfacing for me, though. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was a, a cooking contest, not um, a range and lettuce competition. Ouch. <laughs> I thought it would be a little bit more posher than what we got served. That was probably one of my more difficult dishes to produce. And they just push it down as a salad. At the table, swapping genders on the agenda. So if I woke up tomorrow and I was the opposite sex, I would just look at myself all day long. <laughs> <laughs> and think how amazing I was. And then I'd go out on, on a night out and meet as many girls as I could. If I was a man, it would just be really nice, you know, to go out, not be objectified, you know. <laughs> This winds me up, OK? Try being a guy walking down the street with a load of hens, yeah, who's had a few drinks. Like, it's it's crazy. It's But we don't take it to heart, do you know? Because, like, <laughs> yeah. you know, if you was on a hen party, you would cause uh, some trouble, yeah? Like... I'm one of those women that you was talking yeah, about. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I walk past a building site or some workers and they didn't wolf whistle at me, <laughs> I'd walk past again. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we both walked past a building site and we both got wolf whistled, Jordana would probably ring a local council and get the building site shut down, whereas I would, like, have a selfie with the guys and <laughs> maybe get a sandwich. <laughs> I don't think I'm really impressed with when Jane says that. Like, obviously, she's meant to be, like, an older woman. I think it just makes her look a bit immature. I've stood outside many a building site and waited to be wolf-whistled for hours and hours, but I just get moved on. <laughs>